Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Guess what we are making together today? Egg coffee. What's that? You've never heard of egg coffee? Well, after I show you this method of making coffee, you just might change your coffee making game. Folks have been enjoying coffee prepared this way for well over 100 years. After I show you how to do it, you may start today to making it the same way. It is essentially where I take raw eggs, shell and all, and I put them in the coffee and prepare it that way. And it makes the coffee come out oh so smooth and oh so good. Now, before you say, ooh, that's nasty, you're messing up the coffee. Hang in there and rock with me for a minute. Here is how we get started with this process. First, I want you to measure out the amount of ground you need for however much coffee you want to make. Doesn't matter if it's four, six, eight, ten, twelve cups. Measure those grounds and put them aside, okay? Then I want you to also measure out the appropriate amount of water that you would ordinarily have for however much coffee that you're making. I want you to take a small container, get a little bit of that water out, set it aside. I'll explain in a moment what we're going to do with this water that we're setting aside. And then, after you've done that, here is where the fun begins. Take your grounds, and this is where we're going to add raw eggs, shells and all. Come in, take a look at this, okay? We're going to mix this. I want you to thoroughly mix this. We're going to take this over to the stove top and we're going to continue making our coffee. I generally try to heat my water when I'm making coffee this way to between 195 and 205 degrees. So we're just about there. I want you to watch it because we're going to add this coffee. You'll have to make sure that it doesn't boil over. I want just a slow, mild boil, but again, make sure that it doesn't boil over. So let me go ahead and show you how we continue to get to do this. So I'm going to take my thermometer out. That's our mixture. And you see how it looks like a clump? Once I put it in the water, it's going to start to separate. And I'll explain to you in a moment how you deal with that. So take a look at this. Go ahead and do it just like this. Don't let it splatter on you, so be careful putting that in. Remember I said take a little bit of water out and uh, put that to the side. This is where we add that cold water and what it'll do is help the um, coffee grounds to become a little more like what they were when I put them in the pot, uh, like, a, like a solid glob, or they won't be as loose. You'll see that in a moment. So add your cold water and then I want you to let this boil for just about another minute, okay? We are almost done. Let's go back to the countertop and get ready for some goodness. Now that the coffee has been um, brewed, there are a couple of ways you can go at it. First of all, take a look at that. Isn't that just the dandiest little thing? This is called a pour over coffee maker or some folks call it a pour over carafe. There are two ways you can go at this. If you don't have a pour over coffee maker, this is what you do first. And then I'll show you the way I like to do it. So if you only have a strainer, all you do is hold your strainer over, and I'll try and do this without spilling coffee um, on the counter. And you just pour your coffee in and uh, strain out the grounds, okay? Be careful, you don't wanna burn yourself. Now I won't keep going this way, I just want you to see how you get started, see that? No ground at all in the coffee. Now when you taste it, I'll taste it in just a moment. If you have the pour over coffee maker, then this is how you do it. By the way, I'll put a link to this um, in the description box. As I've told you many times before, I'm an Amazon affiliate. So if you buy one of these through Amazon, um, I will get a small commission that goes directly back into the channel. Um, if you've got a local place where you can buy it, I always support I always promote supporting local. But again, if you don't, 
get it through Amazon, you'll have to support the channel. But let me show you how we do this. So first, let me get, let me get my strainer out of the way and I'll put that over here. Here's how you do with your pour over coffee maker. If you had a pot with a uh, indentation uh, on it, you can pour it directly in. Just be careful because you don't want to burn yourself. I like to do, the, do it this way, especially when I'm making coffee for more than one. If your basket fills up with grounds, just take a moment and dump those. Whatever you do, don't dump them down your sink. Coffee grounds and eggshells are murder for a kitchen drain. So if you've been doing that, please stop today. Do not ever put coffee grounds or eggshells down your kitchen drain. This is the point where you would um, either drink it black or if you typically add sugar or cream, this is the point when you would add that to it. But I want you to try this black. This is especially good if, for example, you buy some of the, um, uh, how do I say this nicely, some of the more discounted brands of coffee that tend to be a little bitter, adding this raw egg will smooth it out, I promise you. Let's have a quick taste. Oh, that is so smooth. If you don't believe me, here's what I want you to do. Make a pot or a cup of coffee the way you normally do, and then make some with the raw eggs. Now, just in terms of measurement, if I'm making six coffee, six cups, excuse me, <laughs> if I'm making six cups or less, I'll generally add a single egg. If I'm making uh, 12 cups, I'll add two eggs. You might wanna add three eggs. Make it and then adjust it and do what works for you. But again, this is where you go ahead and enjoy the goodness. So before we close, a couple things. Um, if you've made egg coffee before and you have a slightly different way of doing this, tell the, tell the group about it in the comment section. Or if you have some other way that you make coffee that's maybe a, a way that's been passed down to you or something that, that's maybe cultural, tell us about that too so that we have some other ways of making something that most of us enjoy almost every single day. So, as we get ready to close, you know what I'm gonna say, for all of my subscribers out there that have watched my videos, y'all know how I like to close, and you know I want you to help me out. So, come in, get closer, come on. Get on over here. All right, come on, do it with me, y'all, come on. Help a brother out! Tell your mama, tell your pastor, tell your plumber, tell your Uber driver, tell your florist, tell your maid, tell your bishop, tell everybody, subscribe to that dude's channel. See you guys on the next video. Cue the music. I'm out of here. Bye-bye, y'all.